Pimpernel. Every evening, before the city gates closed, carts would go out to bring fruits and vegetables from nearby villages. For the market next morning, and almost every day, members of noble families disguised themselves to escape the guillotine and slip past the barricades guarded by soldiers of the revolution. But they were nearly always caught at the fences. Sergeant Bibo at the West Gate was particularly clever in seeing past disguises. When Bibo caught someone, a quick trial and a beheading followed. People gathered near the West Gate every evening to watch Bibo trap his victims. Today, the sergeants in command at the various gates had special orders to be extra watchful. Recently, many noble families had successfully escaped to England with the help of the mysterious leader of a group of brave English noblemen. Nicknamed the Scarlet Pimpernel, this English leader always sent a warning note signed with the drawing of a little star-shaped flower. A few hours later, the sergeants at the gates would hear about a noble family's successful escape to England. So, more guards had been posted at the gates and a reward of 5,000 francs was promised to anyone who captured this English leader. People felt that Sergeant Bibo was sure to get the reward. Sergeant Grospierre, in charge of the North Gate, had been beheaded for allowing a noble family to escape. Bibo boasted to his trusted corporal that he would never have made the mistake Grospierre made. A crowd listened as he related how Grospierre was tricked. Grospierre was at the gate watching market carts going through when one came laden with barrels driven by an old man with a boy beside him. Grospierre looked into some of the barrels, found them empty, and let the carts go out of the gate. Half an hour later, a captain of the guard came up with a dozen soldiers. He asks Grospierre, Has a cart gone through? Yes, says Grospierre. You let the Duke of Chalice and his family to escape, shouts the captain. He turns to his soldiers and orders, After them, my men, remember the reward. The captain followed them. Bibo paused and continued. The Duke's family was not in the cart. The captain of the guard was Scarlet Pimpernel, and his soldiers were members of the noble family. The crowd was silent wondering at the Englishman's cleverness. As the sun began to set, Bibo moved to the west gate and started inspecting the carts that had lined up. He said he could not afford to be foolish like Grospierre. One of the carts was driven by an old woman. When are you coming back? Bibo asked her. I don't know, replied the old woman. But why? questioned Bibo. My grandson lying inside the cart has smallpox she replied. Hearing her, Bibo and the crowd quickly moved away. The name of the fatal disease had frightened everyone. Get out of here with your pox-stricken family, ordered Bibo. A little later, a captain rode up suddenly. He asked, Did a cart come this way? Yes, replied Bibo. The captain said, The cart was carrying the Countess of Tawny and her two children, who were to be beheaded. The cart driver was none other than the Scarlet Pimpernel.